As a photographer, I'm not a big fan of those camera cages. As a video operator, I'm a big fan of those video cages. So I bought my new Panasonic Lumix S52X and I have now two small rig cages I want to try out and decide on which one I'm going to keep. The first one is the small rig cage for Panasonic Lumix S52 or of course S52X because they're the same body. Looks simple. <laughs> it is a cage. Oh, it has a tool here. This is very good. It's magnetic. Oh, I'm not sure if you don't if you lose that. Yeah. So let's see how it fits in there. There is like a safety thing. You first need to unscrew that. Then you can put the camera in the the question now is from which side? And there's a second lock. So now we can just slide it in. It's already pretty stable and fix it with these little lock sliders. On the second lock, you need to completely unscrew that little screw so you can slide it in here. And now I can fix it. Okay, it's pretty solid, so I have really a good, actually it's not so, it's a little bit better to hold even because I don't know why. Ah, here, the handle is a little bit bigger, so it feels a little bit more, to hold it better, even as a photo camera, I really like it. All the connections are very good accessible, battery also very good accessible. This is a pretty nice cage. I can access the wheels here, this wheel. You can access also the video record button. On top you have four quarter inch screws. You have three on the left side and three on the right side. You have two shoe mounts and you have all the possibilities on the back as well. I also have a handle. There are several handles. I decided to go for the small rig Ori locating top handle. The reason why I went with this handle is because it has a lot of mounting possibilities on top. There are other handles like the black mamba handle, which does not have all those mounting options. pretty solid situation here. Small rig, you should bring out like a blacked out version as well for this camera. This would be very sexy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six quarter inch mounts. We have two of those bigger ones to put on monitor mounts. We have actually one, two, three, four, five shoes to slide in stuff. That grip is absolutely amazing. Let's see what we can mount. So I would say a pretty solid rig I have here. I truly like it. Let's look at the second one. The second one is a little bit more expensive black mamba cage from Small Rig. much more fancy packaging and this I can say just like from feeling it it's much lighter it's much much lighter when we compare them we have one quarter inch more on top otherwise it looks the same 
it has only one true. We can say on the left, we have the black mamba cage. We have six possibilities to mount. We have five of the one quarter and one for the handle. We have the shoe on the same, on the left, on the same side, but we don't have shoe on the right side. And the reason is that the cage, the mamba cage is much better fitting the actual camera. It's mounted. We have also the tool here, which is much better. It's also magnetic. Again, we have a pretty good grip. It's a little bit lighter. I can still feel it that it's lighter. But what we have here, a little bit more of the cage that comes around the camera. So we have a much better grip here because it also, I can push my finger up to the cage and it's, it's so much better in the hand. So actually, even as a photo camera, I might leave it on because it's not much heavier. It's not bulkier. It is actually pretty cool and again this would be much nicer if it would be blacked out ports are actually a little bit better accessible this here is the same and battery is also better accessible let's put on the top handle the handle fits also perfectly so i have now my little handbag let's see if we can recreate that mount from before because we're missing one shoe. Now I'm actually missing this shoe and attach it here. Then I have to take away the receiver. I put in the monitor first and then I put the receiver back on, which works. I would say in the end everything is possible again. There are other small accessories. I can add a shoe easily on the handle because I have many mounting possibilities. I can also add a shoe here on the side. There are small rig shoes available and it's also very versatile. In the end, I would say it all comes down to weight. Do you want to have the little bit heavier, bulkier, but cheaper? small rig classical cage or do you want to have the mamba cage which is a little bit more ergonomic better fitting the camera <laughs> on the right side they have the same mounting possibilities the bottom looks the same as well the left side is actually absolutely the same and again the top one more screw on the black mamba, but one more shoe on the regular cage. When you look at the side here, we can clearly see that here the cage wraps around the grip on top. So it's uh, a little bit better to like have the camera on your hand. But on this side, you have the extension of the grip, which is missing here, which is absolutely fantastic. The cage extends the camera body a little bit. So for my hand, and I have not like a big hand, but for my hand, it's I have much more grip here because my little finger here can also hold on to the camera. And I also have, because the Panasonic camera itself has a little ditch here, so I have a very good grip on the camera. And for me, because my I have a Leica SL2 to take photos, it's a very heavy camera. So actually, I like that the body gets a little bit heavier than with the Black Mamba case. So that's basically the reason why I, in the end, go with the small rig cage for the Panasonic Lumix S5 II and S5 II X. Please let me know in the comments how you would have decided or which one of the cages you are using. I know there are other brands around as well. I decided to go for a small rig because I have other small rig cages, so I stay within this one ecosystem. If you're interested in more videos like that, or if you're interested especially in the Panasonic Lumix S5 2X, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up to help my channel grow. See you in the next one. Stay curious!